various literary works had played a crucial role in the awakening of Indian people's self-respect and resistance against foreign dominance. One of the pioneering writers who shaped the formation of India's national consciousness was Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. Bankim Chandra and his celebrated novel Anand Mud were in the forefront of the modern Bengali literary resurgence. They also inspired the Bengali Renaissance as well as the nationalist upsurge. The legendary Sanyasi Fakir revolt rose against the British during the 18th century was the theme of Anand Mutt published in 1882. The famed Vante Matram that later became Indian Republic's national song appeared in Anand Mutt. Poet Rabindranath Tagore was its composer. Vante Matram which celebrated all aspects of India's physical as well as spiritual dimensions, provided great inspiration and self-respect for the nationalist movement. Born in 1838 at the 24 Paganas, Pankim was among the earliest graduates of Calcutta University. Graduated in law, he became the district magistrate at Jasore. Pankim's literary career began in the world of poetry. Friend of Sri Ramakrishna Paramhams, his works became a vehicle for the rising national consciousness. Durgesh Nandini, Kapal Kundala were among his other novels. His work, Raj Mohan's Wife, was the first Indo-Anglian novel. Sympathetic to militant nationalism, he inspired Aurobindo Khosh. Bankim Chandra's works Anishilan Tatwa gave birth to the extremist national party Anishilan Samiti. It was the organization set up by Pramathnath Mitra to which most Bengali revolutionaries of early 20th century belong. Tagore called Bankim a Sabya Saji for his versatility. Yet Bankim Chandra's politics, philosophy and his works including the Vante Madaram are accused of celebrating Hindu revivalism. They are criticized for being anti-Muslim too. It was taking the Muslim opposition into consideration that the Calcutta session of the Indian National Congress held in 1937 decided to exclude some stanzas of Vande Mataram when it was sung. Mataram, Vande Mataram. 